Good morning, everyone. Today I welcome you all in second part of our conversation. Have a look. Sapir four hypothesis of from linguistics. It is uh, based on actually social linguistics theory. So here you can see from USA uh, two modern linguists, Edward Sapir and Benjamin D. Hoare. They provided a kind of hypothesis on language. Uh, Edward Sapir and Benjamin Lee Hoare, they believe that uh, when we process language in our real life, it has got some sort of influence in our language learning and application. So have a look, he believes, Sapir believes it is the society or community which leads us to certain choices of language, interpretation, how we view the world. So this is very important. He said that actually when we come across a lot of people in our society, we, we find some sort of choice according to our class or category of people that we live with, live with and we find certain sort of interpretation from ourselves and we process it and we view the world in that way. So this is influenced by the society. And then Benjamin Lee Hoare in 1930 he believed that it is the reality of the world which determine our linguistic categories. So it is the surrounding reality of the world which set our linguistic program like the word selection and our mind is processed with it and our mentality is grown up with it like as for example suppose if a boy from a very poor class he worked in a certain society his language set, set up is one if another person from high class society he mix up with some other people his language pattern will be another so there are two concepts which we should focus on Linguistic determinism, language around the world determines our thinking pattern and linguistic relativity, that is different languages view the world differently. Suppose Sanskrit, it defines the language in one way, Arabic, it de defines the way in another way, Hindi, uh, it talks about different culture, a, a lot of things are related, religion, culture, financial background, the country, everything goes together in our linguistic system. So this is the just brief summary of Sapir Hope hypothesis. I hope that this lesson will be a bit helpful for you. That's it from here. Thank you very much for watching this video.